So we've talked about putting color on the brush. The next thing we need to do is to mix between colors that are already on the canvas. This is one of those things that should be easier than it actually is, and other software does a little bit better. But in my opinion, it is well worth the time to learn how to manually blend colors. In future videos, this is something I'll refer to as on-screen mixing. And the technique is simple, it just takes some practice. So what we're gonna do to switch between two colors like this is to make a new layer, and then with the brush tool here, I'll use the hard round brush. And then I'm just going to sample with the Alt key, the left one, and then paint it down gently in the middle. I'm using very little pressure. Next, I will select the right color and then paint it down gently. It's all in the same layer. And you can see that a third color is starting to emerge here. So now what I'm gonna do is instead of sampling either the left or the right, I'm just gonna sample this new color in the middle and then paint that down. And you can see that it's starting to make that nice middle mixture. That's what we're going for. If you're having trouble achieving this smooth blending, you can try lowering the flow that's up here. Something like 15 or 16% is gonna require a few more brush strokes, but it's gonna allow less pigment to come out of your brush and just allow for softer, smoother transitions. So let's give this a try. If you've downloaded this worksheet, you can follow right along with me. And the goal here is just to make that middle mixture between blue and purple here in the center. The way I'm gonna do that is start with blue, or you could start with purple, either way is fine. And then I'll start adding the other one on top. And I'm using very little hand pressure. And then I'm looking for a color in this new arrangement of sort of overlapping colors that looks kind of like a middle mixture. And I'll pick that, and then I'll paint that down. And this is kind of a balancing act. You know, you go back and forth and you take a look at it and say, hmm, does it look too light, too dark? And then you add a little bit of the other one in. And then you sample from that resulting color. It just takes practice. And since you need to practice, let's do it again over here. Now I have a new left and right, and I'm gonna try and find the middle between those two colors. So I'll start with the left, and then I'll overlay right onto it till it looks like it's just about middle. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do the same over here. Start with a full left color and then start adding that right color on top. And then I will sample from those new resulting colors. And I'd say it's looking a little too dark, so I'll add a little of that light back in. Okay, that's pretty good. If you want to, you can then go on a new layer and just try and further subdivide. So here you're getting pretty close to kind of a seamless transition. You can still see the steps a little bit, but this is what's called a stepped value scale or a color gradation. And it might seem a little academic and not all that useful, but this sort of practice, being able to eyeball that middle mixture and then to kind of go back and forth until you've reached that goal it's great practice. And it's great practice for what you'll see in just a second is a much more useful sort of real world scenario. Okay, let's see what we're left with. So I've merged those two layers together and now with the eraser tool, I'm just gonna kind of clean it up. Not required, but you know, makes it look nice. That is not bad. That's a pretty seamless color scale. And I achieved it with only one keyboard shortcut, which is Alt, or option on a Mac. So we've done our little gradation. Now let's go to a real world scenario, which is you have two colors on your canvas and you just want to mix between the two. So I make a new layer. I have my flow turned down pretty low and I'm just going to start painting and going back and forth, selecting those middle colors as they arise. And you could do it with a bigger brush. Sometimes if you want to avoid little visible brush marks, a big brush is a good way to go. But here you can see I'm just sampling, painting a few strokes. Sampling that new color that appeared, painting a few strokes. And I'm looking back and forth anywhere where I see that visible transition, or if I see it's too light and I want to make it a little darker, I'll sample from this darker side. It's really just kind of a soft touch 
a simple keyboard shortcut and a lot of back and forth. And this is one of those things that'll just get better the more you practice it. You can zoom out and use an even a bigger brush and a really soft touch to go for those smooth transitions. But there you see, I made a pretty smooth transition using only the hard round brush. So I encourage you to try this out. I've included this worksheet along with the video. So go ahead and download it. I do think starting with the value swatches is a good way to go. But then once you've come up with a nice smooth color gradation, give these a try or give yourself other colors next to each other and just mix between them. On-screen mixing is one of the most essential aspects of digital painting, so you might as well start learning now.